air. It's pretty important. It helps with things like breathing. And it's seemingly everywhere. But is it? Well, if you took all the breathable air on Earth, it would add up to about this much, which means air is a precious resource. Here in Georgia, our air sometimes looks like this. And it's not just Atlanta. While we're making progress, there are still many areas across Georgia facing air quality challenges. So what are Georgia's air pollution challenges and what can we do about them? One of the most dangerous types of pollution here in Georgia is ground level ozone. It occurs year round, but is especially dangerous in the warmer months. And it is created when naturally occurring organic compounds and fumes from cars and factories combine with the summer heat and sunlight to create unhealthy pollution in the air we all breathe. You ever been running in the summer and feel worn out? It may not be the heat. It may be ground level ozone, causing what can feel like a sunburn on your lungs. The other type of pollution prevalent in Georgia is particle pollution, which is a fancy way of saying soot. Except it's soot that's so tiny it gets into your lungs. Particle pollution is 1 30th the width of a single strand of human hair. When it's in abundance, it's dangerous. In fact, when high concentrations of ozone or particle pollution are in the air, there's an increase in emergency room visits. Exposure to either type of pollution can cause asthma attacks, increase the risk of heart attacks, and over time they can permanently reduce lung function, even lead to premature death. What causes this bad air? In many areas, half of smog-forming emissions come from the tailpipes of cars and trucks. But there are things you can do to protect yourself and the environment. First, know when the air outside is unhealthy. Sign up to get smog alerts emailed to you. They will tell you when air quality in your area is predicted to be unhealthy the next day, sort of like a weather forecast for air. When the air is bad, limit physical activity, postpone yard work, Send students to the gym for recess. Use commute alternatives. More on that later. Don't paint your house. Combine errands. Fill up with gas after 6 p.m. And tell others. What else can you do? Drive less. Because every mile you're not driving helps keep as much as a pound of pollution from going into the air. What are your options to help get a car off the road? At least once a week, carpool. Ride transit or ask your boss about teleworking. The Clean Air Campaign has programs and services to get you started. In fact, every day, the Clean Air Campaign and their partners across Georgia help keep 1.4 million vehicle miles of travel off the roads and 700 tons of pollution out of the air we all breathe. That's heavier than a five-ton African elephant and 135 of his friends. You can help. The more people who participate, the more impact, the better the air. You'll be helping keep pollution out of the air, which again is important if you like breathing. <laughs>